friends, we gather in the presence of God to give thanks for the gift of marriage, to witness the joining together of Alexa and Robert, to surround them with our prayers, and to ask God's blessing upon them so that they may be strengthened for their life together and nurtured in their love of God. It was after the party that sole purpose was to set up Lexi and Bob, where I watched Lexi's life change before my eyes. We were getting drinks at the bar, chatting with friends, not really paying much attention to what was going on when we hear the music start. And a very Steve Perry-esque voice comes on. <laughs> we turned, we knew. It was Bob bringing down the house she just looked at him and she was done for. Lexi, I'm so very grateful that you came into my life. Although I was a stupid young man the first go round, I'm glad I finally wised up. Now here we are, more than two years and many wonderful memories later, about to get married. My handsome groom, I cannot believe this day is finally here, but at the same time I can because I've known this day would be in God's plan for so long the most indecisive person you know. My future with you has always been a for sure for me. Since the night we met, you have proven to be the perfect fit for me. I not only loved you, but I loved who I was with you. You are the sweetest person with the biggest heart. You have to be to put up with me. And I can't wait for our relationship to grow together and in Christ. I know you will be the best mother to our children, just as you are the best mother to our Bonnie. Whew. Bring up Bonnie, that gets me. Yeah. <laughs> I will support you, respect you, cherish you, stay faithful to you, and I promise to love you forever, even when it's hard. But I know us, and we will absolutely have more good times than bad, and more smiles and tears. You're the man of my dreams, and I cannot, cannot wait to be Mrs. Andrew. I love you very much. Thanks. Bob, you're a consummate professional in your career, and a damn good friend. And I know you're going to be an even better husband. And it's an honor to know you and have you in my life. I think everybody in this room will be, always be there for you. Always look out for you. Always, if you need anything from us, let us know. There's your guy. I do like it. Yeah, it's nice. Very good. Very good? Very good. Thank you. Yeah. of Christ attend you, the love of God surround you, and the Holy Spirit keep you, that you may live in faith, abound in hope, and grow in love, this day and forevermore. I, Robert Joseph, take you, Alexa Lane, take you, Alexa Lane, to be my wife, to be my wife. I, Alexa Lane, Take you, Robert Joseph. Take you, Robert Joseph. To be my husband. To be my husband. And I promise. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. <laughs> in joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live long as we both shall live. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure 
to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Robert Joseph O'Neill.